My name's Ted, and I'm the co-founder and executive director of MoneyThink. And I'm absolutely thrilled, honored, and grateful uh, to have a few minutes to share MoneyThink with you today, uh, because I truly believe in the depth of my heart and soul that this is an initiative, Chicago born and bred, that has the capacity and the power to not only change the lives and empower the dreams of millions of kids across the country, but also to fundamentally transform the way our nation thinks about money. Now, four years ago, MoneyThink started as a small student club at the University of Chicago with humble beginnings. And in the time since, it's exploded into a national student movement on over 25 campuses across the country with almost no financial capital or support. In the spring, President Obama recognized MoneyThink at the White House as a champion of change. Out of 1,400 organizations, five were chosen. And in the last six months, we've brought together a full-time team of young guns, top advisors, uh, and amazing partners uh, that are on a mission to transform the way this nation thinks about money and empower millions of kids rapidly. So if you'll allow me, I'd love to share a little bit about what we're working on, the problem that we're solving, uh, and then offer some ways to participate and collaborate. So four years ago, well actually, as you might remember, a few years ago the economy collapsed. And to generalize, this happened because people on all levels, from Wall Street all the way down to American inner cities, didn't know how to manage money. It's pretty simple. My friends and I, when we were studying economics at the University of Chicago, in the wake of the economic collapse, we thought, what can we do as college students to make a difference uh, in this massive problem? And we called local high schools. We called dozens of local high schools to see what were they doing, uh, if anything, to prepare the students in the surrounding community of Hyde Park and South Chicago uh, for the financial decisions and challenges that they were going to have to face in one or two years upon graduating, if they were graduating. And we found that almost none of these local high schools had any kind of effective financial education programming. So we looked at the economic and human and financial resources on our college campus, which were overwhelming, it's brilliant economics majors, thousands of them, a business school that's ranked number one in the, in the world, uh, and plenty of financial capital, student activities, dollars, fees, going to fund $10,000 a year for a chess club. Um, and we thought, Let's take these human and financial resources on our campus and mobilize them and mobilize our peers to provide mentoring and financial education for local inner city high schoolers. So we recruited our peers and placed them, trained them with the help of partners, placed them in local classrooms, 11th and 12th grade classrooms. And something magical happened because our college students, once a week, were going in during school hours to complement as surrogate teachers economics classes, math classes, social studies classes, history classes, and student engagement was spiking because all of a the sudden, these kids who didn't necessarily understand completely why they were in school had a near peer mentor from a local college telling them why math was important to the financial decisions that they would have to make why reading was important to the entrepreneurial career paths that they might have been inspired by, by something they saw on TV or something they heard in their community. And part of the reason that this worked was because we, as young people, as college students, had developed a pop culture curriculum, drawing examples from MTV, from the NFL, from the NBA, from current events. And we understood what young people like to talk about. We all listen to the same music. We all watch the same shows. And as University of Chicago students, we wanted to measure everything. We wanted to quantify everything. And so we started sneaking into classes at the Booth School of Business to learn how to quantify our impact. Uh, and uh, within just a few months, we realized that our program was having 
exponentially more impact per dollar on students' financial literacy than nearly any other program out there. And you know, that's not all. It wasn't just the, qua the, the quantitative impact. There was a massive qualitative impact that started to build over time as we expanded the initiative and gave, gave it a little bit of, a little bit of uh, room to, to percolate and to marinate in, in the students that we worked with. And we started hearing stories of students that hadn't even thought about going to college. And they had a mentor from the local <coughs> university come to them and say, and, and after 10 weeks of working together, they'd built a high trust relationship that was fun and engaging. And they had decided to go to college. They had, they had logged on to websites, uh, hopefully like New Futuro, uh, that, uh, that gave them additional access pathways. Uh, they, uh, we had one student, Ryan, who had worked with his mentor to create a budget that helped his family keep the heat on in the winter. That's the power of financial literacy. So that's, that's all really exciting, but what, what, gets up us in, what's, what gets us up in the morning is uh, the massive scalability of this movement. Shirag, who uh, went to high school with me, uh, much like Rob did in the back there, um, we all went to high school together. Shirag went to USC in Southern California. A year into this movement, he called me up and said, hey, can I start a chapter at the, the University of Southern California to serve the kids in South Central LA? Another friend of a friend who was at Columbia called us and said, can we start a chapter of Money Think at Columbia to serve the kids in Harlem? And this took off. And you know, again, with almost no central funding at all, we didn't even have 501c3 status until a, a year or two ago, uh, this scaled to over two dozen campuses in the country. So let's talk about traction and, and am I, am I a, about up on time? Seven minutes, okay. Well, so it's pretty simple. We've got a lot of traction and, and we'd like uh, to have more traction and we'd like this to be a collaborative thing. We've worked with uh, over 3,000 high school students, uh, on average doubling the financial literacy of, every, uh, of, of the average student, 84 classrooms, 600 volunteers, and uh, in the social media campaign that we ran uh, this past spring that got us to the White House, we reached over two million people, young people, in six days completely organically and virally. Uh, so we have a full-time staff. We're working with TFA to strengthen our volunteer infrastructure. We're working with IDEO pretty seriously to enhance the student experience. And we're working with Nielsen uh, to, to measure our impact uh, very rigorously. And we have advisors from all of those organizations. So our three asks for you guys today here are, first of all, uh, we have funding from Blackstone, the Lipkowski Family Foundation, and, and over, over 100 individuals. Uh, but we're looking for introductions uh, to folks uh, in, in the city so that we can build a strong model here at home to build a world-class financial education model that we can scale nationally by 2020. We're looking to expand from 30 to 90 high school classrooms in, Chicago, in public schools in Chicago, uh, including charter schools. Uh, and we need to raise about a million dollars in 2013 in order to, to achieve this vision. Um, and uh, we'd, we'd also like a letter of support from the governor uh, uh, so, that, so that we can support the economic growth and the, and the uh, statewide savings that will come from the $100 that it takes to educate a single child for millions in savings over time. So thank you very much. We're on a mission to make financial capability a social norm in the United States of America by 2030. Uh, and we'd like to involve and engage all of you in that mission. <laughs>